This is Nick's Minimalist Wallet from Tom Bin. A couple clever things going on with it. Uh, more information over at packhacker.com, link in the description below of this video. So starting with the outside here, we just have a small loop. If you want to attach this to anything with a carabiner or just anything uh, inside of a lot of Tom Bin backpacks, people ask for that functionality quite a bit. So there's a lot of O-rings inside of the Tom Bin bags and you can attach things to them. So maybe you could attach this wallet to the inside really anything else that you want, or maybe attach your keys to it, whatever floats your boat. Um, it's made out of this kind of nylon going on here on the outside. So I've got cash just stuck, stuck right in here, as well as personal credit cards going on in the front here. And this is pretty easy to pull out. I barely ever use cash. So, um, you know, it's, it's there. That's where I slot it in if I need it. There's probably another place to put it on the wallet, but that's personally where I put it. One thing that's great about this for travel is that if you have bills of larger size that are wider, they still fit inside of here. So if you have a Japanese yen or, you know, British pounds, that's going to fit in here as well. So that's a nice little area for that. And then the inside things that I use less often. So you have this kind of elastic uh, loop going on here. I have used this for over the course of about, I would say three months overall, like not that much of an issue. Um, so the elastic is stretchy. Just to note too that this nylon on the outside is not. So that's both a good and a bad thing. It's good because um, it won't really break in and stretch out. So your cards won't just fly out of the front of this thing as you've been using it for longer. That happens with leather all the time and you're just going to lose cards. But if you don't have enough cards in here to fill the space out, there's no really grip on it. Although this helps a little bit. Um, you know, there's some elastic does pull together a little bit but it's not like this is an entirely, you know, stretchy part here. So you've kind of got to fill it up in order to, to keep the cards inside. Now we open it up, we got the nice TB logo there. Very simple design. So you have this kind of rubbery feeling window pocket in the left here. Uh, Tom Ben uses this a lot, like in their 3D organizer pouch and their toiletry pouch, so you can see what's going on. Nice to just flip that out if you have your ID there, easily show it to someone, so pretty clever. And then we have some like ripstop material going on in the interior of this. So, you know, you got that nylon on the outside and then ripstop on the inside. And then uh, I also put a tile mate in the back here just to kind of keep track of the wallet. Uh, so that's stuck right inside. Uh, we got info in, on this over at packhacker.com as well. Uh, so yeah, I just stick that in. And then I usually put less used credit cards on the inside here. So if I pull those out, you can just kind of see that that space here again not stretchy there is a little bit of padding due to the fabric being folded over a couple times and then it's easy just to kind of place the cards right back inside so there you have it a quick hit on the tom bin nix minimalist wallet more information over at packhacker.com we'll see you in the next video